there you've probably seen my video about getting to and from Malta well I'm now in Malta I'm recording this probably three or four days after I arrived so the videos and the photos you're gonna see is really a montage of what I've done in that period to say I'm having a fantastic time is an understatement I wholeheartedly recommend visiting this country it is an eclectic mix of Britishness in that they drive on the left hand side of the road I've seen zebra crossings, I've seen pelican crossings, I've seen a Marks and Spencers Iceland, Matalan, you name it, it's very British in that respect but it's definitely got that undercurrent of Mediterraneanism which is just fabulous a little bit of African as well because I've realised we're not actually that far from North Africa we're actually further south than Tunis in Tunisia so it's hot, uh, 32 today I think it was but I was on the rooftop pool which you'll see in a minute hope you enjoy my video so far as always please subscribe ringy bell thingy malarkey i would be very grateful for any comments as well to see what you think of the videos i'm doing and hope you enjoy it in Malta. Uh, I'm staying here for 10 days. I've just found out this morning that it's Euro Pride, but I'll be more of that later. So here we are. I'm staying at the Hyatt Regency and this is the room tour. So firstly, we scan around there. Got a bit of a wardrobe thing going on. I'll do the main room in a minute. The bathroom. Now the door is absolutely huge. I'm not sure if this is the same old one or just an accessible one, but there's plenty of space. We've got a clock at the bottom of the mirror and then we have what can only be described as a giant shower. All the usual bits and bobs there if you need them and the shaving stroke cooling your hair mirror. Fabulous. Okay back in the main room we have some sort of tea and coffee making facilities we have the mini bar, which I'm not going to go anywhere near based on the likely prices. That is a 65 inch television, which is just huge. And never mind a 65 inch television, there's a bed, and I'm going to have to back up. <laughs> that bed is ginormous. It must be at least 12 feet wide, if not bigger. Um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. I've then got a little desk area, some sort of newfangled style light, a couch, and whilst this is a good room in the hotel, it ain't the best. The best ones are on the pool side, and I'm just basically looking over the back. But, you know, I'm not here for the uh, view out of the window. There you go, the Hyatt Regency in St. Julian's in Malta.